Hi everyone, this is Board Games and Bourbon, and right now I'm going to talk to you about a nine card solitaire game that has won the award from BGG called Orchard, the nine card solitaire game. Now this was a print play at one point, uh, but the production value here is nice, it's been taken care of, and there's going to be some Kickstarter upgrades, like they're hoping to get this into a telescopic uh, box that opens like this, and different dice and stuff. Let me show you what you do. You're going to turn one uh, card up to start your little uh, orchard here. And you're gonna count nine cards out total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can just save these for later to play a quick game. And then you are gonna take two of these cards to make your hand. And every time you lay cards over that match the pattern below it, you're gonna score a point. The next time it matches, it'll become three and then it'll become six. The questions in the game become, what patterns are you creating by putting out new cards? Um, have you gotten all your dice out? Have you leveled up all your dice? And it's also going to include these two cubes that basically rot a card. It makes a card not grow anything, but maybe it can liberate you to score more, po more points by laying down cards that kind of correct your path should it have gone wrong. Okay, so let me just show you how it plays. It's very simple. Um, okay, so I have this card here, and I want to try to match something on here. Now, Okay, what do I want to do? I have two reds on the top. I have two yellows. Let's see what this card can do. It's not gonna, okay, I'm gonna take this card and I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna match this blue and red to this blue and red, kaboom. And when I do that, I'm gonna take a cube and I'm gonna put it out right there. My suspicions would be this is gonna have nicer dice uh, that like actually have tree figures on it, should it like fund, because this is a pretty sweet game. When I had the print and play, it was doing that. Okay, now I have these two cards. Um, the two reds would match there. The two reds would match there, but nowhere else. And really the strategy to the game, at least in my eyes, is trying to get that maximum amount of coverage at all times. Hmm. Now the question, am I any good at actually doing what I'm telling you? Probably not, because uh, that's the rule of thumb whenever I play anything. Okay, I'm going to put this here. Blue and yellow. Blue and yellow. Okay, so I have a one-point yellow that's growing because it's only been overlapped once. And I have this blue that's growing because it's only overlapped once. Now, I have to be careful. I've already used two of my blues, and I don't want to run out of them. These are now my two cards. Okay, here we go. Kaboomsies. Yellow, blue, red, yellow. Okay, so this is going to go right here have a lot of overlapping, but these two ones, because they've overlapped, are now going to become three pointers. Okay, good. And I get a one point red out there. And now I have a one point uh, yellow. We're already halfway through the game. And I love how compact it stays too. Move this a little further up. Always afraid that I'll run out of room, you know, but I want that to be like right there so you can see it. Okay, I have these two cards. This is always trouble when I get like two yellows in a row. Two yellows. I got a lot of double colors that can really be a bear to deal with. Okay, um, I could almost, gosh golly, could have almost made that work right there, except my bottom is flipped in terms of color. I can do this. I'm going to put this right here. And that's going to double these again. So I have four overlapping colors. This three now becomes a six. That's my first. Was that a one-pointer? I think that becomes three. If I can find three. Even though I know how dice work, I still can never find the face. Put a one there. I'm going to put a one here. I'm good at counting up to one. All right, I got two more cards. Um, now, I should say the game in solo mode also tells you your victory based on this little rule book, and it tells you at the end, and it's very cute, uh, how you've scored. If you scored uh, under 25 points, your score has been Paul Tree, 25 to 29, forget Apple, uh, 30 to 34, satisfactory, uh, 35 to 39 is remark Apple, uh, they really like saying apples on there, uh, tremendous at 40 to 44, plum believable. 45 to 49 and above 50 is pretty perfect. Uh, take a bow. Um, now, I got to say, the first time I played this when it arrived, I scored like 45. I was like, oh, right out of the gate, I'm doing well. Uh, this will be easy to master. And I've played it like 10 times since, and I have not gotten any closer to that. I've actually gotten a lot worse. 
Okay, let's see here. I am going to try to put my cards down. <laughs> Can I score some points? Can I score anything? The answer usually is no. Uh, I'm going to do this here. Okay, I'm going to put this red here. This goes up to three. I have one more yellow in there. If nothing else, I can get some points. You also score negative points if you get these rotten apples in there. I think those are negative threes. Okay, there's only three cards left. You've seen basically the whole game. Uh, yeah, what do I want to do here? I have two yellows. I feel like I want to use two yellows. Oh my gosh, I always paint myself. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put this right here. Nice. This becomes three. This becomes three. And uh, I got two new singles up there. That's okay. I have the dice to spare. I'll do this. I like it. I like what I'm seeing. I'm out of yellows now, though. That's going to be unfortunate when I get down. I have two more cards to place. How's this going to work out, people? I have no idea. Uh, I could put this red. No, that's not going to do it. No, that's not going to do it. Yep, yep. Uh, is that going to do it? Nope. Gosh, golly, I really want to raise. Okay, I'm going to put this right here. Blue, yellow, yellow, blue, red. Okay, good. And it didn't require anything. They're just going to level up. So my one levels up to a three. My three is going to level up to a six. I have one more blue on there, which is good times. And I think I also get this other blue and this other red up there. So I only have one left. So do I want to get this one on there for one extra point? It's probably going to behoove me to actually score points wherever I can and upgrade others. Hmm. Can't do that. Double blue is not going to help me. I only have a spot to upgrade a red. It'd be make more sense. Yeah, okay. So this one's going to go right here. I'm going to put this right here. One and one. So I not only upgraded my blue to a three, my red to a three. I got that last one on for one point. Hello. Okay, and I didn't use any of the bad cubes. So what's my total score? Let's start with yellows. Uh, three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 uh, blues, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 26. 26, 30, 36 points right there. Uh, 36, according to my book, is a remark apple. Eh, that's not bad. That's in the middle, though. Why is it so hard for me to get up here? But anyway, that is Orchard. And now uh, I actually have these cards sitting at the side, so I can just start another game right away. There is some way to use these in here for higher scores. And I'm still trying to figure that out, okay? I'm probably too focused on this, but there is a way and I wish I could work that. So check that out, Orchard. I'm gonna keep playing as always. Ask me any questions, okay? Talk to you later, guys. Bye.